פח, 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 זה לא פאקינג אורנט, זה רק בר. So I was born with a disability, I was born with uh, cerebral palsy. Something that's been surprising is realizing how wrong I was. Very wrong. I thought no one would want to date me. I thought I wasn't going to have an exciting life. I thought I was never, never going to be an entire person. Yeah, I hated myself. For years, and because of that, I developed addictions, um, and I wasn't taking care of myself in a lot of ways. People were not paying attention to me when I had something to say. People were um, interacting with me in the ways that I wanted because they weren't seeing me, they were seeing a disability. I think being disabled has taught me if I need to get something, I need to really go get it. I asked myself, Tyler, what do you want out of life? How do you want to be in the world and what do you want people to know about you? And there's not really any other option besides doing what I want to do and just being scared. Being scared I might fail, being scared I might be rejected. I love partying, I love hanging out with people, I love doing crazy adventurous shit. Um, I love swearing. Me and more others that have a severe disability are not seen as entire people. Sometimes I don't regard myself that way when I look in the mirror. And like, I gotta stop myself. Being disabled is actually one of my greatest assets. Some things I do is I write, I make films, I make clothes. Um, I did stand-up comedy in high school about being disabled. Your disability pushes you to do things that you may not have done if you were able-bodied, and I think that can inspire people who are disabled and able-bodied alike. I feel my first time having sex. I was like, I did it, I made it, like, fuck that shit, ah, uh, I made it, but right after that, I contradicted one of my biggest ideals of existing in this body. I think no one's going to sleep with me because I'm disabled, and then someone sleeps with me because they like me, then, like, that's obviously not true and it's the the discord of keeping that mindset because i have formed an identity around my experience and not an identity around my personality there were times where i was like suicidal and it came down to the point of well if i did decide to leave on my own accord from this existence no one was going to know what I was capable of. And the unique experience I have as being a person with a disability would have been lost. You don't grow from succeeding. You grow from failing because what you take from that propels you forward and lets you see who you really are when the times are hard. Yeah, like your voice, it's like... That you something you can't hide. You no, can't hide yeah. your voice. You're talking all the time. Like And I used to hate my voice. I remember when I first heard my voice, I think I was 13, 14. And I was like, fuck. Um, yeah, of course no one wants to sleep with me. Dude, like I would ask questions that were not a yes or no. And they'd be like, Yeah. I'm like, bro, I asked you, like, when we were going to class, like, what the fuck, bro? Being disabled is also, it filters out a lot of the bullshit, and that makes my life better. People with disabilities want to have fun like everyone else and all the ways that other people are having fun. 
And the way we get to realizing that and having that be true is by developing new systems, a new culture, and uh, a new understanding of what it is to be disabled that is liberated and consciously created within the society for everyone.